Hello everyone. Today I want to do something kind of crazy. I want to play in some watercolor powders, which let me tell you, watercolor powders are messy. And I did a watercolor video earlier in YouTube and somebody was like, you didn't emphasize enough how messy it was. And I thought, sometimes that might be a lesson you need to learn on your own. If <laughs> you didn't take my warning when I told you it was messy. So I'm emphasizing even more, watercolor powders are messy. They may go on your surface. It's a powder. It's a powder and a powder can be messy. I'm kind of thinking that what if I put this stencil down and just spray water, tap some watercolor powder on it <laughs> and just see what does it do on a layout like this? Crazy, right? So we're just going to test it out. <laughs> I need something. I don't, I don't want to tack it down with a big piece of tape. I guess I could put it here and then we could just let the watercolor do what it wanted to do and I could tape it at the bottom edge here. Well, let's do that and we'll just let it do what it wants when it goes up there. Be an interesting lesson for all of us. <laughs> but let me say again, watercolor powders are messy. Messy. So if you are worried about your work surface or anything around your clothes that you have on, anything at all that you don't want watercolor on, uh, maybe this is not the right technique for everybody. Kind of want a little piece of tape on the side um, because now we're getting further back in the book and it may not completely do what we want it to do. So I might not like that that's there, but I feel like I need to have something stabilizing that a little bit. And a little spray bottle. I don't know what it's going to do. I've never tried this before, but let's just go for it. <laughs> so I've got some sketch box watercolor powder in this orange, and I'm just going to try to be really careful. It, they're very vivid. Powders are very vivid and messy. So you don't want to just squish the powder out um, as fast as you can because it'll go everywhere. So I'm just trying to very gently tap and just see like what's that do. And then I, I might, might mix this around with a brush. I don't know. Just be very gentle. Don't squeeze because um, it just it'll burst everywhere. So this is a color burst fuchsia. This was a sketch box exclusive in orange. And this is a The Crafters Workshop sketch box exclusive in Bougainvillea, which I think is, oh, it's a bright red too. Okay, I was hoping it was the purple. All right, let me go get the purple one. There is a purple. Okay, and the stencil isn't completely staying on the paper because the paper's got water on it, so it's moving around and warping. Um, there is a purple though, so let me get into my drawer and find the purple. Maybe this is the purple I was thinking of. There's Wisteria by the Crafters, uh, I think it's the Crafters Workshop uh, watercolor powder. Um, oh yeah, I think this is the one I was thinking, Wisteria. And we could kind of take, if it's not doing what we want, we could take a watercolor brush. Let's just take a brush. This is my Aqua Elite number 12. And we could just see, you know, if I need to kind of move it around. Let's see what that does. And, you know, I'm working on that cotton paper that's in this art journal, um, which is like that cotty paper, that Indian cotton paper is what this, uh, I believe, is because it seems to be what it feels like when you're touching it and painting on it. So even though I squirted that on there, we can move this around and just get it to do some fun stuff. Oh, you know what else I could have done? Whoa. We could take for up there up top. We could take our bowl scraper and make that a little more abstract up there. Oh, super fun. I kind of want it to come on the edge a little bit.
So I don't know what we're going to get. It might be a big mess when we're done. Water might have gone all under it, but when it dries, maybe it'll give us, maybe it'll give us a um, silhouette of this. I mean, this is right here. This is just all play and testing out. <laughs> um, if you've got the brush o powders, that would be great. Just experiment with whatever you've got. Um, let's just set something down so that maybe, ooh, let's go right there. So maybe we can get that water to push out. I need like some little tiny heavy somethings <laughs> to push that down and make it stick to that paper. Because there's some areas where it's not sticking and I need it to stick. You know what else I was thinking, and we may try this on another one. I was thinking, you know, this um, granulation medium. Um, once this is, we could we could like spritz granulation medium on a watercolor through a stencil. Have you ever tried that? Um, I'm just throwing some ideas out there as I'm sitting here, kind of thinking and brainstorming and imagining like what else could I do. Kind of thinking that. I need some little tiny heavy objects. <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I could just put whatever on top, but at the same time, like what if we put something like this on top and set a book on it? Let's just try it out. This is just a, another one of those moments where I'm like, hmm. Let's just try it out. What do we want to set on top of there? Maybe we can just set this on top of there. And then we're going to have to let that kind of dry and do its thing for a bit. Ooh, I do like the way it's down though I think it'll peel right off with the stencil and we'll just see what we can get so let's let this dry and I'll be back all right this is not dry yet I realize this but I don't want to leave it and come back tomorrow because I'm filming <laughs> so I want to know what it's gonna look like today <laughs> or at least where we're at and look how pretty this is as an extra piece that we could as an extra piece that we could use as a collage paper or something somewhere. And let's just see what we got. I glued, I taped these down. <laughs> Take the tape off. Just looking at that tape thinking, oh, that tape's there. I forgot we taped the bottom. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this paper because I discovered on something else that the tape pulls the top of the paper off if it's on that watercolor paper. So we gotta be real careful, but let's just see what we even, oh, ho, ho, ha, 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 ha. look at that. So whatever it is that I had on this stencil that was dark, which I think it was an acrylic paint, um, has bled onto our piece here. I'm gonna put that down there for a moment. Put that with it. We could use that stencil as a, um, like a stamp on something what I could do maybe is kind of thinking here I maybe could if I stamp it down on this side oop that wasn't very good was it if I stamp it down on that side maybe I might paint all of this but <laughs> now that I'm already kind of thinking about it could be the underlayer of whatever we end up painting over here but we could maybe just soak all that paint up on this craft paper that I did not coat in gesso and just see what it looks like oh okay kind of interesting right there so that can just be a layer of whatever as we continue to go forward um, this actually looks pretty cool and I do kind of want to dry that and then what we could do is come back on top with um, 
some mark making if we wanted to. You know how I like to draw on top of stencils. I think they're mostly dry now. Um, but what I can still maybe a tiny bit wet. But what I could do is maybe draw on top of these with some of these lovely Stabilo 3-in-1 woodies. We could do that. I like how these go from orange to purple. That's kind of why I was mixing some of those colors in there. Um, but I think it looks super cool when the stencils have some dimension to them. And we could do this with the Neo Color 2 crayons. You could do it with pastels, but I'm trying to stick away from the strictly pastels in my book uh, because I don't want to have to take it outside and spray it and I don't have to finish it if I'm just doing it here in this book. If I'm using things that don't smear onto the other side. I'm just playing, just kind of mimicking some of the colors in there. There's nothing specific for why I did that. I just wanted to. We could come back on there with some gold. Do we want some gold? Just getting it started here on my little piece of paper. Um, like I could do some gold dots just do a few in here to see what's that even going to do. Maybe just here in this little center section. This is just that super yummy Kuretake Gold Zig Acrylic Liner. Um, these are exclusive to Sketchbox here, but I have a link down below in the description. Um, it's very, very easy to use and it and it's the same gold ink as the gold mica ink um, that I like to use with my dip pen and stuff it's that same company it's that same color that same intense gold that we love so much running out of room up here got an extra ink no wonder stuff's falling down <laughs> um, but it's easier to use than the dip pen and it's just a couple dollars, four or five dollars for the this, and I just love it because then I don't have to get the ink out and everything, and I still get that really super vibrant gold that I love. Um, so that was really cool, actually. So um, we could kind of come on up here and do some in the stenciling. Doesn't have to do all of it, but a little bit might be fun. And if I didn't tell you what that stencil was, I'm pretty sure that's a Stencil Club stencil. Uh, by Stencil Girl. Pretty sure that's what these are. Here we go. <laughs> stencil Club 06 of 2020. Um, so if you, if you join the Stencil Girl Stencil Club, you can buy the past months um, that they've got on there. This stencil alone was worth joining for at least one month and grabbing it. Um, so that's what I did. I joined it. I haven't, I'm still in it now, but I joined it and then bought several past months, um, which is, they've got some really good ones in there or you can just kind of look around their site. Um, it's one of my favorite stencil sources along with joggles.com. That I wasn't going to do all of it. Here I go. I just keep on going. But look how fun that is. Just a little bit of gold in there. We could come down here and shape out some of these leaves with gold. <laughs> oh, yes, I like that. Okay, good idea. Sometimes you just got to sit and think and play and make some marks. And then as things come to you, you're like, oh, yeah that's what's next 
and these little leaves drawn in. Let's start over here because I need to work that way. I don't know why I try to work backwards. Wait until you see the pictures that I put at the end of the video. It's going to see how pretty these leaves are. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is so pretty. Now we've got a little shine as all through the piece there. And you know, we could come with some just little dots to go into this upper part and really kind of complete the look. Ooh, I like that. All right, this is feeling good now. Start it out. And we were going in the direction of a hot mess. This is a hot mess. But this, you know, might not be done. We could come over and just do a big abstract on top of this. Ooh, look at that. Okay. I think that's where I want to be. We can take these pictures at the at the and you can see at the end the little bit of gold shine that we get with the light. Um, but that's rather delightful. That's a good page. I'm happy with that. Hope you had fun painting with me today. And then uh, we'll come back and finish this on another day. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.